Thanks for watching my video today. We are going to have a uh, proof or definite property of definite integral. It okay. This is the Roman. This is the eight part of our property. Then is integral from minus a to a, where a and a is nothing but constant. Okay, minus a to a f of x dx is nothing but two times integral from zero to a f of x dx. If f of x is even function, okay, you should know that if this integral here, this equal to this, if it is even function, and zero if it is odd function, okay. Now let's talk about one is even function and odd function. Even function is nothing but if you have a function f of x, okay. If you have a function f of x, and if you take f of negative x, okay. Then if you take f of negative x, and if you get f of x that that this is called even function okay example like cos of negative x is what cos x right so meaning this cos cosine x is or even function okay just like that and odd function is the opposite just the reverse you if you have a function f of x and if you take f of negative x then you get negative f of x example sine function sine of negative x is what negative sine of x meaning sine is or odd function okay now let's if let's come up here or integral from minus a to a f of x dx okay now this one let's use our property number three to evaluate this okay so this one i can take in as minus a to zero f of x dx plus zero to a f of x dx okay from property three you will get this this minus a to a I can split as minus a to zero and zero to a okay. Now now what we are going to evaluate is only this part okay. We are going to evaluate this part because we have a negative sign so now put negative x is equal to t or meaning x is equal to negative t so dx will be negative dt why did i take negative the thing is that if you plug if when x is equal to negative a then t can be or positive a so i don't want negative sign here so i want positive sign that's why i take negative here okay and when x is equal to zero t is equal to zero so this integral part if you evaluate minus a to zero f of x dx you'll get if you plot negative a you'll get a right a to zero f of x is replaced by negative t and dx is minus dt so this one since it is having like that and we have negative sign now from property 2 we can interchange the limit and this negative sign is lost already okay negative t dt now from this we are going to get our condition here whether our function is neg even function or odd function okay it will depend on that when f of negative x is equal to f of x then is even function okay therefore our integral will become negative minus a to a f of x dx is 
integral from 0 to a f of x dx plus here we evaluate this part here and we get this edit. so f of negative t is if this is even function meaning f of negative t is f of t then mean then it's even function so if this is even function then you get the same thing right f of f of minus t is f of x it does not depend on the variable okay, or integral so meaning this is 2 times integral from 0 to a f of x dx so this is our first proof now when f of negative x is negative f of x meaning when in this odd function what will happen when in this odd function let's see or integral minus a to a f of x dx is 0 to a f of x dx plus integral from 0 to a here we have here if f of negative t is negative f of t negative f of x dx meaning if it is odd function so these two can get cancelled so it will be 0 okay So these two will be cancelling out because this negative and positive negative. So you get therefore our integral from minus a to a f of x dx is two times integral from zero to a f of x dx if f of x is even function and in is zero if f of x is odd function. So this proof for property, okay?